this. With, uh, with gun Man. Shoulders. That gives you an idea of, of the number of victims. Senator Feinstein just put out this uh, tweet. We want to show you my stomach sinks with yet another active shooter alert. I'm praying for the safety of everyone at YouTube headquarters. She, of course, has unique perspective mm -hmm. on shootings, uh, becoming mayor of San Francisco after the assassination of, of uh, Mayor uh, Moscone. And, uh, of course, she uh, sponsored and got past the uh, assault weapons ban, uh, largely due in part to the 101 California Street shooting back in the 90s. Uh, at the time, and still may be, the worst mass shooting in San Francisco history, I believe it was seven or nine people who were shot and killed at 101 California, the office tower there in the heart of the financial district. So uh, Senator Feinstein, very passionate, very active about gun control legislation. We're not going to get ahead of ourselves and in getting into the political ramifications of what's going on here. Uh, we're still trying to figure out exactly uh, what is the situation in San Bruno. We understand uh, police are looking for at least one active shooter. That's from the San Bruno city manager. Uh, we're Man, still trying to put together down how many people everybody. are injured, uh, adding up uh, the number Searching of people. Searching area last person to make sure they ain't got no San gun Francisco on them. This is crazy. Kaiser in San Francisco, we're talking, talking about 10 or 11 exactly. at least people who may have been shot. Mm -hmm. uh, could be more, could be less. We're still trying to wrap our heads around that and get the, the latest information and there is still the possibility of at least one fatality heather uh describe again what you saw earlier uh, well as as a uh, fox 2 is covering the scene here we did come across at least a, one body uh that was covered with a tarp again not sure if that is the shooter not sure if it is a victim involved in this uh but we can tell you that there was a, a a body uh, seen covered with a yellow tarp stemming from this shooting at the YouTube headquarters. We want to now bring in Frank Malicote. He is in our newsroom uh, monitoring things, including the audio from the police dispatch calls. As we heard from the city manager there in San Bruno, uh, a lot of 911 calls coming in about a possible shooting there at the YouTube headquarters. That's right, Heather. A lot of those calls coming from within YouTube themselves. We'll get more of that in a moment. But just minutes ago, we got the audio from some of those police dispatch calls as mentioned here's what they had to say about a possible suspect and the gun and you're also going to hear them talk about x-ray that means female when they're talking about the suspects here we go possible they have an x-ray suspect down at 901 cherry with a gun that's recovered they're still looking for a male i'll get a descriptor on the male as soon as possible again they have a possible x-ray suspect down at 901 cherry gun has been recovered well, there you go. Police dispatchers also said that we're receiving a lot of calls from employees, as I mentioned, who had barricaded themselves in offices and conference rooms waiting for the all clear, not knowing exactly uh, what went on. As you might imagine, uh, social media has picked up on this, and a number of the folks inside the YouTube building itself were posting, and we did follow a fellow by the name of Todd. I'll give you that much. Uh, according to his YouTube page, or rather his um, Twitter page, he is a YouTube worker, and this is a series of tweets. I'm just going to read them um, if I can right now. Um, we were sitting in a meeting, and then we heard people running because it was rumbling the floor at the time. First thought, it was an earthquake. After exiting the room, we still didn't know what was going on, but more people were running. Seemed serious and not like a drill. We headed towards the exit, then saw more people, and someone said, that there was a person with a gun, explicative, police cruisers pulling up, hopped out with rifles, ready. And I told them where the situation was as I headed down the street to meet up with a couple of my fellow team members. At that point, every new person I saw was a potential shooter. Someone else said that the person shot out the back doors. And later, this uh, same tweeter said that uh, he got off the campus and finally got home safely. So, uh... A lot going on in just one man's view of uh, a very difficult day in San Bruno and uh, right now still trying to get more information. We will continue to look at social media and we'll uh, have updates soon. Back to you. Yeah, Frank, uh, a very chaotic and frightening day and yeah. it's not over yet, but we do have new information from the San Bruno city manager. She says further threat to the community. It's coming out in 15 minutes. This uh, was just posted within the last couple of minutes, so by the bottom of the hour, we hope to have uh, some basic information covered and uh, the good news, no further threat. So he just played the audio tape right. from the police scanners. In which you hear them talking about a gun recovered and suspect down. And they also talk about and refer to it as possibly being a woman. So that's something that we're going to 
wait and hear from officials as they confirm exactly what took place here. But again, uh, the, the headline from what we're hearing, uh, when police are, are responding to this and, and broadcasting to all of the fellow officers and law enforcement, is that a gun was recovered, suspect down. And we'll hear from Connie Jackson, the city manager of San Bruno, saying no further threat to the community. One can assume yeah. that that was the only suspect involved in this shooting. All those pieces together, and that's what you come up with. And Frank was talking about uh, uh, the tweets where the person said the person shot out the back door as they went out. We just showed uh, some pictures of the, of the glass door that looked like it had been shattered mm -hmm. by gunfire. Uh, not sure it was gunfire. And then another tweet. This is coming from uh, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi of San Francisco. My staff and I are closely following developments from the active shooter situation at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno. Thank you to our heroic first responders. Bay Area community and all American communities deserve real action to end gun violence. So here we go with the uh, political aspects of this. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, uh, the Bay Area, uh, no stranger to catastrophes and, and, and trauma from these kinds of incidents. Uh, it's it's good that gun violence has taken out uh, our San Francisco city leaders, Mayor Moscone, uh, Harvey Milk. Uh, the list can go on and on. But uh, here we are again with another mass shooting in America, this time in yeah, in just about 11 minutes, uh, the San Bruno police chief is expected to make a statement. That's expected to happen at about 2.30. Uh, right now, that he's asking all of the media to sort of set up and get ready for that. Well, we expect to find out more. But all indications are right now that the suspect... other This news is crazy. Jesus.
Robo J at YouTube, I tell you, this is bad. Yeah, man, I've restarted my computer and everything, man. <laughs> Fucking thing that got stuck so damn hard, I couldn't close it out. So I guess, yeah, they saying the shooter was a woman. That's crazy. Yes, she caught her dude cheating on him, you know, and she went up to the job and probably went slam off. Sir, a crazy white woman and went slam off up in that place. See, yeah, you know, see, you know, they saying that was a domestic dispute. <laughs> yeah, you know, in companies like that, man, Fortune 500, you know, everybody tearing up everybody in them buildings. Hey, right, and she went off. Wide open. Shit. And then, and then on top of that, the security be sucking, sucking there, man. No armed security. That's how it was at Philip Moore's headquarters. Who the fuck you think it's gonna be in YouTube headquarters? No bulletproof glass, no none of that. I was like, hey man, somebody can come up in this damn place, man. <laughs> Chief ass. Yeah, we're well, at the MC probably. Yeah, you know where the product at, but the uh, headquarters, no. Where we was at, hell no. Yeah, because they don't want nobody coming up in the MC. Yeah, yeah.
one thing about this vaping shit, man. Keep your teeth white and your lips pink. I ain't got no black lips over here and no yellow teeth. Okay, field 10, we go around the bend. Kind of tank you running right now. Yo, Evan, what kind of tank do you have on that beat, man? You're going to answer the question accordingly. And I am not going to repeat myself again. That's field seven, field ten is cross street here. Nice. Man, the unthinkable is happening this year, boy. Yo, Evan, you can't hear me? Yo, can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, man, it won't be. It was you. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting there talking to you. You won't say shit. <laughs> I said, what kind of tanking, what kind of tanking car are you running on, Evan? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but whenever it tastes burn or whatever, or if it tastes like dry cotton, just poke holes in the car, the little tiny holes or the safety building. But yeah, man, you ever pick up that berry juice? I got some berry juice and some orange shit. Stuff is good as fuck. Gotta try that berry, man. Yeah, and they even had at the vape shop, because they let me get two bottles for fucking 30 bucks. Two uh, 60 mil bottles. I said, hell yeah. Gave me a discount. Man, you come here all the time, man. I gotta look out. I said, thank you. Damn, I'm about time. Yeah, 
I got some orange pop clouds, but I gotta get that fucking blue raspberry shit back again. That shit was so damn good. Alright, now we are spring the, the fields. Hey, they got a on my map right on farming and it's on YouTube. You just type in farming simulator 17 weed farm. They have it, but I can't find a link to it. You think you can find a link to that weed farm? Cause it's crazy man, like this dude is straight up, he got weed on that shit, like it's crazy. So how the fuck he? That's insane. Okay, they let us fertilize. Nice. Yeah, man, these people got weed farms and shit. Ten, this would be for cows, cattle. Seventy, that's grass. All right, so the machine needs grass, hay, and uh, silage. Snap even got a train on it. I think I want to do no more Fortune 500 jobs, man. That shit is dangerous. The security sucks. Fuck that. No more of those type of jobs for me. Crazy day today, crazy. This shit gonna be on the news for the rest of this fucking month. Dude, I'm getting older, and guess what? My face ain't age a lick. Be 35 years old in 10 days, man. It's fucking insane. I never thought I would ever, ever, ever get old. I want to be young forever, like the song Forever Young, I tell you. Uncle, he's supposed to give me some money. I don't know what he's gonna give me, but his ass got a lot of fucking money, too. I hope he looks out for the cookouts. Oh, yeah, yeah, I brought Killing Floor 2 on PC, man. If you, uh, do you have it? Alright. I bought it when it was on sale. What, Friday, I think? The 
Fortnite and all those other games is hard as Jesus Christ. It's just hard. The city doing some update or something so it, you know, we can do like five on five with people on your friend list or some shit. More fertilizer. Whole field is done that fast. Nice. Save it. Yes, uh, welcome to the channel, everyone. Welcome. This is Big Bona on Farming Simulator. And, uh, yeah, we have tractors, we have animals. I am Fat Wana on Farming Simulator. I love to see this fat ass play this shit. Okay, so this is wheat, and then this up here is crack cone. Damn, we got to go fertilize the cone up here. Then we gotta get the Mexicans up in there to pull those corn stalks out. People gonna be off work probably the rest of this month. They said they had to fuck up the rooms. They had electronic locks and key cards and all that. They had to tear that damn place to fuck up. They sent the tactical entry team in there to hit every door that was locked. <laughs> they fucked that building up. <laughs> Holy shit! They tore that goddamn building the fuck up. Jesus, this shit is a mess. Damn, they said they had to get some of them there to get, had to contact Google to get the key cards just to get in certain doors. That's crazy. Jesus, they had to clear the whole damn building. I'm done. Whoever that woman was that did that, she better be lucky they ain't kill her. Okay, so what is in field one here? Oh, uh, we will find out. Field one. Alright, that's another weak field. Mm-mm-mm. 
Get off work and then start fucking shooting. What the fuck is wrong with people? You know what I'm saying? You got a problem with somebody, man? Wait till it's time to go. You know, do it outside of the building. Don't fuck up somebody's business because there's some personal shit going on. Fuck. Think before you react. I mean, the bitch was injured, but, you know, now she gonna look at probably about. 500 fucking counts of felonies, you know, all down the list. Google gonna press charges, YouTube, everybody. She better off dead right now. Then they're gonna make her pay for the damages, everything. She done. Yeah. They said a woman. Crazy ass, wild animalistic lady decided to lose her mind today like a nutball. They say there was some kind of domestic dispute, and other people, I guess, got in it and she shot at everybody. Jobs, then there's churches, Walmarts, everybody, everywhere getting shot up. Fuck. And then they talking about banning weapons. I don't know, man. They might want to rethink that shit. You know the sad part, right? You got businesses like that. You would think they would have like bulletproof glass and armed security and shit, right? It's crazy because they don't. They probably have a few armed security guards, but not many. Got like a very small team of armed security. Got like a hundred security guys walking around with a fucking flashlight and a set of keys. Stupid. And then lower level of buildings, all professional type buildings on a lower level should have bulletproof glass and barriers so you can't nobody ram the building and blow it up with a bomb in the back of the fucking van or truck or something. Glass, glass proof windows and shit. They may want to put that money in the right places now. Make sure it don't happen again. I don't know when something is going to happen. Don't necessarily mean it got to be a terrorist attack. Somebody could just go up in there or already be there. Then you got places with no metal detectors. Like, why in the fuck are uh, headquarters of any company would not have metal detectors at the front door? Or some kind of, you know, weapon detection device or something. 
shit. Clearly, that shit could have been prevented. Trust me. Somebody gonna lose their motherfucking job over this shit. Trust me. No, it's, it's just no excuse for that. You know, if they had the right stuff in the right places, that wouldn't have never happened. Safety first. Clearly, that was unsafe. That's on any job though, Evan. You know, when they ask like a simple question, like, like in a job interview, what can you do to make this company better? Well, first off, I will start with, yeah, you tell them, first off, I'll start with security. You know, you can never go wrong with security and making sure everyone in the building is safe. So you get the job, man, with flying colors right there. Safety, man. Safety first. That shit coming before anything on any job. Safety. Fuck. This is just unreal. Unbelievable. seven or eight shots fired but a witness said it was at least fucking 20 shots fired To headquarters. Ah, uh, the aliens did it. And the bitch gonna plead insane and get off on that shit. Trust me. It happens. Like, what do you mean by the aliens made you do it? God damn it, it was the gray ones, the gray aliens, damn it. I'm not gonna explain this to you again. God damn aliens. Plenty of fucking aliens in California, especially all those sightings they see out there. You can easily say it was the fucking aliens and don't do no fucking jail time. Somebody is saying it looks like both of them shot themselves. They had a fucking shootout in that bitch. A man and a woman. Because both of them was found. Yeah, because both of them was found shot. See, well, that's what I was telling you, man. Like, for real, I used to work in a Fortune Found in company. And I'm going to tell you something. There's no metal detectors, dude. You know, the only way in is like with a key card, you know, electronically, key to get in the building but don't metal detect this. So you can just walk right on up in there after you, you know, swipe your card. And you can come in there with a Uzi or any goddamn thing you want. And that, that's what we were scared of when we was working there. We said, hold on, man. This security suck, man. This shit can get breached, man, in five minutes. You can come up in here, man, first thing in the morning, you know, with a gun in your book bag, and they'll never know because they don't search nothing, no metal detectors. And we tried to tell him a No, 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 no. You can't do that because 
is, is, is one door you get in, and then it's another door you got to scan to get in. By the time you get in that front, that first door, they're going to push that button to lock your ass out because they're going to know you ain't scanning it. Because it's a security booth in that motherfucker when you walk in. Yeah, you ain't getting past that second door unless you shoot your way through it. The whole shit was just made out of fucking glass. That's one thing I didn't like about that building. Just glass every fucking well. Like, man, y'all motherfuckers crazy as a bitch. Poor building design, man. You gotta think about it. You like running a company that's killing millions and millions of fucking people's families by smoking and shit. You don't have armed security. People hate Philip Morris. They want to kill those people. I don't know. I guess they think twice about all this shit now. Because this ain't no fucking joke. Shit. Shit happens. I got shot before, so you talking about security and all that shit, man. I'd be a goddamn beast at that. Turn a building into Fort Knox. I'd like to see you get through it. Damn. Alright. Pop this truck here. I never do a puff counter, I do it by taste. No. Only by taste. Like if you taste if your taste started to taste burnt or if it started to taste like cotton, you know, with no flavor, that's when you know it needs to be replaced. But you can always save your coils and recycle them. Like I say, you take it out. You wrap it up in tissue or paper tile and let it sit for two days. You recycle your coal. Be just like a brand new one. But it all depends on if you ain't burning the coals out. You know the coal is hammered once you start tasting this nasty burnt taste in it. Well, that means your power is jacked up too high. And if you turn it down and it don't taste burnt, then the coil is good. But if it still tastes burnt, after you turn it down, then the coil is hammered. You don't want to fuck around those burnt coils. Damn, this fucking Lexion looks sweet as a bitch with the goddamn scratches on the side of the paint job. Yo, you heard what 50 Cent said about uh, 6 9 He said, I declare 6 9 the king of New York. <laughs> He is kind of live though. His music live is a bitch. Shit crazy.
Okay guys, today we are on the Nickelodeon map and we have the class Harvester Alexion 780 with the IC controls. So who's next? Amazon? Shit. <laughs> You're fucked. Everybody fucking pissed at Amazon. You hear what Trump said? Trump pissed at him. Walmart is trying to petition. You know, they're trying to fucking get Congress involved. Because Amazon is clearly making too much fucking money right now. I'm like, Congress? Jesus, they gonna say what did he violate any constitutional law? Uh, well, uh, the thing is, uh, they're making too much money, and uh, they're gonna throw that fucking shit out. You know, you know how much money Jeff Bezos paid in taxes on him, Evan. Take a wild guess. No. Almost a billion dollars, 900 million he paid in taxes. That's fucking insane. The dude makes 230 something thousand dollars a minute. That's straight up play money. 230 something thousand dollars a minute. All day, every day. I can't even count how many minutes. Is in a twenty is is in a twenty four hour day. You know what I'm saying? And that's just straight up overkill. So that's like nine hundred million is play money now. I'm like, oh my god, man, how? Like this is crazy. Two hundred thirty something thousand a minute? It's fucking unheard of. Yeah, the owner of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. He 
and he is declared the richest man in the world and I can believe it because with that kind of money coming in that's like holy fucking Christ the fuck kind of shit is that and all his warehouses is like miles fucking miles long those well Amazon warehouses is big as shit all of them I mean uh, building maintenance alone on some shit like that is like millions of fucking dollars <sighs> it's crazy Get stressed out thinking about that shit. I don't know, man. I think they're gonna they're gonna hit him. They're gonna bump him down because he got enough money to buy the whole United States by his goddamn self. Yeah. So they pay taxes on that. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay, so what's the point? Because it's just it's just gonna cost the fucking same thing. No, not only that. You know, it's you know, they make a law and say you can't do this, you can't do that, but I don't know if you know, but anything over ten thousand dollars with no bank account see what I'm saying is automatically reported to the fucking federal government so if you ask me they just is crooked you know what I'm saying because if you're not gonna let them put it in the bank what the hell is that like you know if you go to a bank right now right for example no job and you got 10,000 or 11,000 and you go to the bank and say hey man I want to put this in your bank they're going to say, okay, and guess what? They're going to let you do it. But after that, they're going to freeze your account, and they're going to call the federal government on you. And they get to, in the bank get to keep your money. But if you ask me, I think they're playing a dirty game. Yeah, because it's still declared under you know, a national thing. It's still declared an illegal substance. See, until they legalize it in every state in the United States, then you can put it in the bank. Because they know what people are going to do with the money. First off, they might try to transfer it and flip the money into a foreign exchange. They don't want that. And then you would be obligated to make more money than them. So that's how they're going to keep them at the bottom. By making them deal in cash. But it's a lot of crooked shit behind that, trust me. Just, I don't know, man. They just... I don't know. If I was them, man, I would buy my whole, I would buy a whole entire law firm with that weed money. Hmm? Yeah, he is.
Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to my mama. Alright, I'm back. You had to mute my mic when you're hearing all that stuff. Yo, you there? Alright, my bad. My volume must turn down now. Ooh, it's home. I got your dog. Ooh, what's happening? That yin yang twins jump was lit back in the day. Ooh, it's on. This nigga will crack your dog. Ooh, what's happening? Hi. Damn, Evan, you really dragging that thing, ain't you? You all right? Well, what you do, I mean, you'll be able to taste it if it's burnt. It'll just, have, it'll just give off a weird taste. You'll know if it's burnt, trust me. Like, basically, like, let's see. See, I can't do it because it's a fresh coal, but it'll taste like burnt metal. Like, I don't know. That's the only way I can explain it. Like a burnt metal taste. Are you good? Yeah, I mean, if you taste that, then that way you know the call ain't no good. Like I say keep doing it until it tastes bad. Like that's the only way you can tell if a call is bad by taste. Trust me, when the time comes, you'll know. <laughs> you gonna be like, oh, what the fuck was that nasty shit? Yeah. So, yeah, the RDAs is the worst. Some things are burning out so damn fast. Really taste it through those. I, I made one RDA and said, never again. I ain't doing that no more. That thing, shit. Now, I buy a pre built RDA, but other than that, hell no. Tracks, like, uh, let me, let me be a white dude. Yeah, he's pretty damn good. Well, I will. I will. Always looking for some new music. just lately came out or what? Starting to get big too. Oh. 
<laughs> Damn. For that? For that or was it for something else? Produced it, you know. Probably a few, probably more than one. Sell, Greg. You know if I don't like it, I'll be like, turn that shit off. Okay, that's feel seven. So the viewer that's watching, what's up? Hit the follow button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to hear a song request or something, just type it in and I'll play it for you. Let's see. Here. All right. Yeah, just let it play. I'm, I listen to it. Ah, ooh, ooh, ah. Okay, jack the timer up. Auger wagon.
Yeah, who was that? Wiz Khalifa in it? Yeah, he getting big. Five hundred horsepower. Salanius. Alright, let's hook all this stuff up. Yeah, that dude logic though, yeah, he climbing up the ladder now though. Cause at first when you kept telling me about him, I didn't know who the hell he was. Damn. He's getting up now. So you got more calls? Damn. Alright man, you might want to try the, uh, just wrap it up dude. Wrap it up in paper tiles. Uh, you can, yeah, you can recycle them and save yourself money, man. It's safe to recycle them. You can do that. 
one call the last one like two months probably dude. on hitting it like that you're heating up the tank when you heat the tank up that means the coil is getting hot gotta give it some cool down time jesus the inside of this fucking that challenger tractor this shit looks sweet as a bitch i am shit lit let me see Is it a twist off one or a pull out one? See, that's why I like the Crown 3 because you can just pull it out instead of twisting it. <coughs> crown 3 is just, Crown 3 is easy to deal with. I don't know, send me a picture of it, I'll tell you. Just send me a picture of how that look. And if it's stuck, you might want to get yourself some grips and yeah. Sometimes they do get stuck. That's a bitch. Nice screenshot there. And the lights out. Factor off. What is that? Okay, you got one of those calls. What is that thing that it's sitting on? Take like a, you know, you got it. That picture is straight up and down. Send me a picture of it on like a side view picture of it, so that way I can definitely know. I want you to break that thing because you can't break it. What I'm saying, it might not be a hard one to do. Just send a picture. I don't really, I only see like the top of it. Send me a side picture. And that way I can tell you right then and there. Yeah, like, you know how you got it. The picture I'm seeing, that's like straight up and down. I can see the top. I want to see like the side of it. 
Yeah, and the wires and stuff, that was, that was like coal wires and shit. You don't want to mess with that. Okay, well this is an easy one, buddy. Alright, let me do it. Okay, um, so what you do, yeah, that's a big fat ass call too. Um if anything, let's see, twist it to the left, I believe. Try to twist it to the left. It should be a twist off. That's a twist off call. It's not doing nothing. Got it. Yo, you got it. Nice. Well, it didn't get stuck. So, for future references, just know a twist. Yeah, because um, I be using grips, man, sometimes to get my hands off. Shit just gets stuck. It's a suction, like when you pulling on it, it creates suction and it gets stuck. Um, like do that core got any hole or air vents on the side of it where you can see cotton. Okay, you show what you do. You're like a little tiny safety pin or something. Poke it through slowly because you don't want to knock um, the coil off balance. So if you just do it slow, you just gently push it straight through, it'll be just fine. It creates an airway so the juice can get through on the other side of the cotton. if you got more than one air vent I mean vent where like, you see the cotton just poke like two holes per side of the cotton on where you see it and that's it just prime it again put a little juice over top of it throw it back in because without that trick I ain't gonna lie man I've been and went through so many fucking calls Head is here. Damn, this vent looks sweet as a bitch. Man, I got some nice ass fucking mods. I ain't never seen nobody doing no reviews or nothing on. Alright, this way. If anything, put the holes in it, right? So you put, yeah, we just wrap it up in on um, paper tiles. That's all you gotta do. They'll drain it out. That's like a quick fix right there. Every time. But when you poked it through, it ain't feel like you was poking up against something, did it? Alright, good. 
as you can knock the coil off balance and it should have re can that re coil or something like that. So you gotta be careful when you do it. Shit that corn field look nice. Okay, we're going to start here, save it, okay everything is ready to harvest. Yeah, that shit do sound good. Oh, Lord. <laughs> You know it'd be the same shit on that internet radio. Different rotation, that's all. Let's see, you know the same shit be on that radio. Internet radio just be a different rotation. Salage Mountain on this map. Yeah, my mama was telling me my uncle might send me money probably that tomorrow or something. Early birthday present. Sit more foul on fucking I'm like, oh, I'm just sent a thousand dollars, you heard me? Just, I'm just itching to get an i7 right now, though. Shit. At least a 7th generation. You got an 8th generation one right on Amazon and checked earlier. $299. I think they got a mockdown sale or something going on. You know, that shit don't last long. That's fucking cheap, man, for an i7. But if I was to do it right and get an i7, you said something about the chipset numbers or something you gotta match. Like, as in. Like, as in what? That kind of show about chipset numbers. I 
that and look it up. Oh yeah, hey, oh yeah, this bitch, yeah, that motherboard I got i7 ready. It's gotta type it in and let the computer choose it. Choose the i7 for me. But we're gonna use turds from the animals to do it. Because the slurry pump that in the ground first after you plow it. Fucking harvesting that damn field forever, all that yield being there. I did it one time before and it worked. Yes, yes, uh, hit that follow and subscribe button. Yes, yes. Big shout out to Evan. All right, now, G. All right, now, G. Who you playing? Might do, might do Walmart. I might do Walmart part time starting off. Fuck it, I don't wanna work these bullshit jobs, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So I gotta give me a I gotta give me a ass saving, bruh. Ass saving in a ten seventy. Sounds good. Yeah, ah. To make some hot tea. It should be so damn good. Mix the gray tea with the orange tea. Ah, put the lemon in it. Mm -hmm. Ah. Whatever cotton it is, that shit sound good. Rich man's car there. Oh yeah, I told you I sold the Elgato to a Chinese girl. Neighborhood, I'll stomp a car like that for like five seconds and let the gas go. That's all you need is a five second mash down or something like that. Keep going, you get caught. Trailer, 
Good to go. Lights off. Show down. right back a couple minutes
Oh, Evan, you there? Evan! There you go, y'all right. All right. Alright, let's get good as a bit. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Talking about mama. Alright, who is this? Need area? 
Oh, Yola. Welcome to the stream. Give me a few minutes here and I will return. Because I am eating some cake right now. And I'm turning it up. Yes. Fucking okay, uncle gave me a cake early birthday present. <clears throat> well, early birthday cake. I'm sitting here eating it. I think it's good. That's lit. Uh, uh, uh. So your ringtone? <laughs> your ringtone? God, it be. Jesus. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Hey, do you think they got a Mexican version of that? They got a shit. They ain't got one with the Mexican rapping on it or no. That should have sound funny as a <laughs> There you go. Ah, yes. Turn it up. What are you doing? Yeah, play that. Yo, Evan. Send me the link to that Mexican version. Mexican version on them.
Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Vapes are us. www.smock.com. my stream a little bit. Took the lyrics from Project Pet. So when we plow the field, we're gonna put in slurry, liquid cow shit in the field for more yield. So we're gonna spray that motherfucker twice with the cow shit. And then the sprayer last, the third stage. Get on it. I don't have the multiplayer installed, but yes, the game is installed. Stream that shit to YouTube, dude. But no, you can stream. You can stream the Twitch. I do YouTube. I ain't fucking with Twitch right now. Shit, rub me the wrong way right now. All the fucking people taking all the goddamn viewers. Oh no. Yep. But what version but what version are you running? Because I got mines in like um one yeah, one point something three point oh or something. One point three one point thirty. Yeah. I have it. Okay, hang on. Where I get it from, um just type in on Microsoft Edge or something, but Okay, so, oh, and I got to sign in and all that stuff. All right, well, shit, man. I got viewers right now on my goddamn YouTube. Fuck. 
Yeah, slight intermission, everyone. Sorry, but we will be back. I have to 